Hi there! Welcome again to my channel. Today, ang didiscuss ko sa inyo ay tungkol sa English 10, Quarter 1, Module 7, Lesson 2. And the title is about Fluency, Awareness, on Spoken Text. But before that, of course, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong video. And of course, please share also. Alright, let us start. This is uh, lesson 2 of uh, module 7 for quarter 1 of English 10. Fluency awareness on spoken text. By the way, let me remind you, dapat hawak ninyo ang inyong module para nasusundan ninyo at uh, nakukuha ninyo ang tamang sagot. And by the way, I am only going to discuss uh, items that are not... Uh, Items that have no answer in the key to correction. Okay. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following. First, show the correct punctuation marks in ending sentence. Or ending a sentence. And then, appreciate the value of fluency in producing effective written outputs. Okay. Let us start with activity 2.1. The direction here is... Fill in the table with the correct examples of coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. All right. Uh, some, uh, most of the items here are found in the uh, category in your module, but I have added here in the subordinating conjunctions part items that are not included here in this module. Okay. Forward. Let us begin with coordinating conjunctions. We have for, and, nor, but, and, nor, but, or, yet. Okay, we have so. And then for subordinating conjunctions, we have if, when, because these three are included in your module. The other departure are not found in your module. So you better uh, take this down in order to learn some more. Okay, we have after, since, although, until, before, and whenever. Marami pa yan. But uh, I have uh, discussed this also in uh, one of my videos. You can uh, watch this in uh, my channel. All right. Next, what is new? Below is an excerpt taken from the essay written by Divina L. Fabiana, an English teacher. Using your comprehension skills in reading, try to go over the two paragraphs below and tell which of the paragraphs has a clear meaning and explain why. Be ready with your ballpen and paper. Just start, try to post the video and then copy the suggested answer. And the, under the paragraph A, what is waste management and what important role does it play in our environment today? Waste management is increasingly considered one of the most crucial environmental challenges on a worldwide basis nowadays. All right, uh, just try to read this and then let us proceed to the uh, second part, the paragraph B. What is waste management and what important role does it play in our environment? We have a question mark here. Waste management is increasingly considered one of the most crucial environment challenges on a worldwide basis nowadays. Municipal solid waste and packaging waste in specific is an important and growing movement in our community. It has been widely recognized that recycling practices should be adopted in order to achieve sustainable management of municipal waste, uh, I mean municipal solid waste and efficient resource use. All right, here are the process questions. Number one, compare the two paragraphs. What is in paragraph B that is not found in paragraph A? All right, here is the suggested answer. Try to copy this down. There are punctuation marks in paragraph B, which are not found in paragraph A. Or let us go back here in paragraph uh, paragraph A. You cannot find any punctuation marks here. Walang period, walang uh, comma, walang 
uh, question mark, walang exclamatory mark. All right. But in the second paragraph, we have here, hmm, meron tayong question mark. And we have a period. Okay. Those are the punctuation marks that are not found in paragraph A. Okay. Let us proceed to question number two. Which of the two paragraphs contains a clearer message and why? Okay, here is the possible answer. Paragraph B contains much clearer message because there are punctuation marks at the end of every sentence. It can be easily understood and it can be read without any confusion. Unlike in paragraph A, wherein the message is confusing because the reader does not know whether the sentence is a question or not. The readers don't know where to pause or to stop and the message is confusing. Walang mga punctuation mark doon sa paragraph A. Walang period, walang question mark, walang, uh, walang exclamatory mark. Okay. Let's proceed to activity 2.3. Directions. Complete the following set statements to show your understanding of our lesson. Okay. Number one, fluency is the ability to, by the way, there is no answer in your, these items have no answer in your keto correction, so you should just uh, copy down the answer. Fluency is the ability to speak or write with a natural flow in rhythm. In other words, a person is fluent, is able to achieve fluency if he is able to speak with natural flow and without any difficulty. Okay. Number two, we use a question mark when we are asking questions. Of course, you should use question mark only when you are asking questions. Number three, punctuation marks are used to express clarity of ideas. It specifies whether a spoken or written text is a statement, a question, or an outcry or strong emphasis. Number four, we use a period to express a simple statement or statements thought to be complete and after many abbreviations. So for example, doctor, after doctor uh, abbreviation, then uh, that is supposed to be D, capital D and R, then there's a period after R. And honorable, period after N. That is, uh, the abbreviation is H-O-N, honorable. And then number five, an explanation point is used when expressing strong feeling, outcry, or strong emphasis. Now for activity 2.4. Direction, in the next activity, you will use the things you have learned in this lesson by making a dialogue about health awareness in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Observe correctness in vocabulary, punctuation marks, and content in coming up with your dialogue. All right, you are supposed to make your own dialogue, but I have prepared here a sample. This is only a pattern for you in order for you to be able to Write your own dialogue. Okay. Bert. Oh, no. Lucy. Why? What's wrong with you? Bert. I forgot to wear a face mask. Lucy. Didn't I tell you to wear face mask before we went out of your house? Bert. Yes, you told me. I remember I put it in my uh, the pocket, pocket of my jacket. But then... I decided not to wear my jacket because it is too hot outside. So, I left my jacket and the face mask was inside my jacket. Lucy, let us go back then and get your face mask. Alright, if you have learned something on this video, again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and so that uh, you are going to be updated in my next video. And of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.